what is up guys and welcome back to the channel now as you can see behind me we got the 2002 Acura RSX Type S and today we're going to be doing some maintenance on it particularly the oil filter and tire rotation so I'm going to show you the steps of the process so let's go ahead and get started Okay, let's go over the tools and materials needed for this process. Five quarts of 5W30 motor oil. I use full synthetic. You can choose whatever you want to use. And I'm using AMS oil. A new oil filter, brand of your choice. A new crush washer for the oil drain bolt. 3 8 torque wrench, 3 8 ratchet, rubber mallet, 17 millimeter wrench, oil filter wrench, and oil filter socket. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the oil filter wrench or the socket. It just depends how stubborn the oil filter is on there. And then a container to catch the old oil. Okay, before we go ahead and put this car up in the air, first thing you want to do, especially if you have wheel locks, let's go ahead and remove the wheel locks on all four corners. You don't want to use an impact on wheel locks because you could break your wheel lock tool. So go ahead and remove those by hand. And the next step of the process, I'm gonna show you guys how to raise the car and support it. Okay, so take a look underneath the front of the car. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath. Okay, so right here where my fingers are pointing, that bump out right there, that's where you wanna raise the car from with your floor jack. And that's basically on the front cross member underneath the car. And before you go ahead and lift up the car, go ahead and set the parking brake because you want this car rolling backwards. Okay, now when the floor jack raises up the front of the car, let me show you guys where to support it from with the jack stands. Okay, so right behind the front tires, you're going to see a pinch weld on the body right there. So it's right behind the side skirt right here. So it's hard for me to get a picture as low as this car is. So once I have this on the jack stand, I'll give you guys a better picture. And then since my Acura RSX has a rear trailer hitch, I'm going to jack it up from the bottom of the trailer hitch right here. Most of you guys probably don't have a trailer hitch on yours, so let me go ahead and show you guys where to jack it up from. So right here, there should be a rear main tow hook, and that's basically where you're gonna raise up the rear of the car. So there's gonna be a, basically a heavy metal loop right there on the bottom of the car. So take your floor jack and raise it from that side. And then once the rear of the car is raised up, there's some more pinch welds in this location right here in front of the rear tires. So let me go ahead and raise up the car and I'll show you guys a better picture underneath of where to support it with the jack stands. Okay, let's go ahead and get the wheel locks off, raise up the front, support the jack stands, raise up the rear and support the jack stands and we'll take the next step. Okay, now that the RSX is lifted up, let me go ahead and show you guys the lift points and the jack stand points. Okay, with this rectangular bump out right here, this is your main lift point on the front of the car. So let's take your floor jack and lift it from this point right here. Okay, and once the front of the car is lifted up, let me show you the points where you want to set your jack stands. Okay, so behind the front tire, right behind the side skirt, we're going to go underneath. And I'm not sure if you can see right there where my jack stand's at but there's two heavy, thick pieces of metal that are pinch welded together, and that's where you want to set your jack stand. Okay, with the rear of the car, like I said before, I've got a trailer hitch. Most of you guys probably do not, but there's gonna be a rear tow hook right above my trailer hitch, and that's where I'm gonna jack it up from. And then once you have the rear of the RSX jacked up, let me show you guys where to put your jack stands. So right in front of the rear tires, right behind the side skirt, let's go underneath. I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's your pinch weld right there. So two thick pieces of metal pinch welded together, and that's where you want to set your jack stand. All right, the Acura RSX is safely supported with the jack stands. 
But for extra measure, I'm gonna go ahead and take my floor jack and leave that underneath the main front jack point. Safety first, because that's where the weight of the car is at. Now let's go ahead, proceed with popping the hood of the car, and we'll start with the oil change process. Okay, and looking at the engine bay right here, I mean, just check out how spotless this is, guys. Very proud of this process. I cleaned the engine bay, and I made a video on that, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, you're more than welcome to. But anyways, this is where you're going to fill the oil right there. So you want to go ahead and remove this oil cap. Okay, let's go ahead, look behind the motor. I'm going to see if I can point out the oil filter. Okay, it's very difficult to see back here, but right there where my screwdriver is pointing, that's the oil filter. It's on the back side of the engine block, facing the rear of the car. So you really have to reach down here in order to get this thing off. So I'm going to go ahead and try this thing with the oil filter wrench, the traditional method. And if that doesn't work, I'll put the oil filter socket on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that oil filter removed. Okay, so now I'm underneath the RSX. Let me show you guys what's going on underneath here. Now right here is the oil drain bolt that basically faces the rear of the car. So you use a 17 millimeter wrench and tap it with a rubber mallet in order to get this thing free. And as you can see right there, that's a crush washer. We're gonna be replacing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our oil container, put it underneath the oil pan, and then we can go ahead and release the 17 millimeter bolt right here. Okay, now that the oil drain bolt is removed and the oil is drained from the oil pan and the engine, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the oil filter. So here's the new oil filter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some oil and rub it onto this rubber seal right here. So let's go ahead, put some oil in the seal right here, and then we'll go ahead and screw it on the back of the engine and we're gonna hand tighten this thing. Do not use tools when you reattach a new oil filter. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Alrighty guys, new oil filter is installed. I'm not quite sure if you can see where my screwdriver is pointing, but that white label right there with the black filter, that's our new Bosch oil filter. And remember, turn that with your hand, not with any tools. So hand tighten, that's very important to remember right there. Okay, here's our oil drain bolt. Now FY, this is actually a Spoon Sports magnetic drain bolt. And let me tell you about this guys, this is 20 years old because I installed this Spoon Sports, I think on its first oil change, and I've had this car for well over 20 years and 262,000 miles on it, so this thing has held up phenomenally well, so kudos to Spoon Sports for making a quality product. Okay, so anyways, we still got the old crush washer on this drain bolt, and we need to go ahead and remove that because we need to install the new one. So we might have to take a flat edge screwdriver and wedge it between the washer and this head of the bolt right here. Now remember this crush washer is aluminum, so it's very soft. And then you actually might have to take some cutters, like some wire cutters, and cut this thing. So let's go ahead and remove this old crush washer, install the new one. Okay, now that the magnetic drain bolt is now prepared with the new crush washer, we're gonna go ahead and take our torque wrench, which is set to 29 foot-pounds, and we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it on the bottom of the oil pan and torque it to spec. So let's go underneath the car and take care of this. Okay, now that we've got the drain bolt torqued to spec and a brand new oil filter on the back side of the engine block, it's now time to fill the engine with five quarts of motor oil.
Now, I forgot to mention earlier, you're probably gonna need a funnel because that'll keep things clean in engine bay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my funnel, put in this opening right here, open up those five quarts of motor oil and just pour it in. So let's go ahead, fill up the motor. Okay, went ahead and got the five quarts of oil, poured into the engine using the funnel, put the oil cap back on, went ahead and checked the dipstick, and we we're right between the lines, so we are good to go. So basically right there, folks, is how you change the oil on an Acura RSX and many other Hondas that have the K-Series engine. All right, now since the RSX is up on all fours right now, let's go ahead and rotate the tires. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the front passenger, put on the driver's side rear, and I'm gonna take the driver's side front, and put on the passenger rear and vice versa. Kind of like an X pattern right there. So let's go ahead and take care of that and then we'll go ahead and torque the lug nuts to spec. Okay, now that the Acura RSX is back on the ground, away from the jack stands, let's go ahead, torque to spec, the lug nuts and the wheel locks. So I got a 19 deep, and I got my torque wrench set to 90 foot-pounds. So let's go ahead and torque away. All right guys, I believe we're wrapped up on the maintenance of my RSX. Now I do this every 5,000 miles, change the oil for synthetic and rotate the tires. So I did check the dipstick to make sure we got the oil level right in between the lines. And then I torqued down each lug nut plus the wheel locks. So I'm feeling good about this. So like I said before, I do this every 5,000 miles. You take care of a car, it'll take care of you. Okay, so I'm gonna get the car back in the garage, make sure I got no leaks on the driveway and then we should be good to go. And as of today, my 2002 Acura RSX Type S has 264,211 miles. Has never skipped a beat. Alrighty guys, that wraps up the 5,000 mile service that I do in my 2002 Acura RSX. And this also applies to most Hondas and Acuras with K20s and K24s as well. And this includes the oil change, tire rotation, lift procedure, and the support points for jack stands. And guys, keep in mind, always support your car with jack stands. Never rely on a floor jack. That is very dangerous, so safety first. And also, with the used motor oil, go ahead, put that back in the containers, and take it up to your local auto parts store or your local landfill, and just be responsible and get that stuff recycled. Now, if you guys got any specific questions on the tools or procedures used on this maintenance, please feel free to comment below, and I'll do my best to answer all questions. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.